Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to electrolysis half equations. Okay, so I want you to imagine that this whole piece of paper is uh, an electrolysis cell. Okay, so on one side, we've got a negative electrode. Okay, and on the other side, we've got a positive electrode. Okay, so two electrodes, usually made of graphite, stuck into uh, a beaker. Okay, and then we're going to consider this chemical reaction, okay, which is sodium bromide reacting to form sodium and bromine. Okay, now we need, it's important that we have state symbols this because it helps you understand a bit about what's going on in electrolysis. For this to work, it has to be a liquid. Okay, remember that's because for electrolysis to work, ions have to be able to move from one side or to the other. Okay, and for that to happen, it's got to be a liquid. If it's a solid, it won't work. Okay, you have to heat this up to make it work, and you're actually heating it above the melting point of sodium, so the sodium also ends up being a liquid. Okay, and bromine uh, at room temperature or above is a gas. Okay, let's be thorough with this then, make sure we balance it. Okay, so we need to make sure we've got the same number of each element on each side. So at the moment, we've got Br2, so this 2 means 2 bromines on this side. Okay, so if we stick a 2 here, that means we've now got 2 times 1 bromine on this side. Okay, we've now, however, messed it up because we did have the sodiums balanced and now they're not. We've got 2 sodiums on this side, which means if we stick a 2 here, we've got 2 sodiums on this side. Okay, so what's happening in electrolysis? Well, first of all, you need to make sure you've got the right ions and got the right charge. Okay, so if you grab your um, periodic table, on the back of your periodic table, you have this section here, which is formulas of some common ions. Okay, um, I'm not sure if you can see this on my screen enough, okay, but if you look it up, sodium, you'll see here, just about to see, is Na+, okay, and bromide here is Br-. You can work it out from the periodic table if you want, but nice and quick, go and look at it in there. So what, you've got, what we've got in our solution then, is we've got um, a bunch of Na pluses, okay, and I'll just draw them all over the place, okay, and we've got a bunch of Br minuses, okay, all evenly spread out, okay, sodiums and bromines, okay. If you turn on the electricity circuit, when you, once you connect your circuit up and you hook it up to a power pack, what happens then is all the positive ions are going to be attracted towards the negative electrodes. So all the sodiums are going to go this way, and all the bromides, they're going to be attracted towards the positive electrode, and they're going to go this way. Okay, That's kind of what you learn um, in core science. Okay, A bit more detail needed now in this electrolysis topic um, at, uh, at for C2. Okay? Let me just put a box around this before my year 11s tell me off for not putting boxes around my titles. Okay, so what's happening? You have to write these things called half equations. So basically, this is one chemical reaction happening here. Sodium bromide is turned to sodium and bromine, but there's actually two half reactions happening. There's one reaction happening at the negative electrode, and there's one reaction happening at the positive electrode. Overall, this is the reaction that's happening, but we do need to be able to represent these as two half equations. So what's happening? We'll start off with the negative electrode, so this side, okay? So our sodiums, Na+, plus, okay, what's happened to our sodiums is that they are turning into sodium atoms, okay? So there's a key thing that I'm going to write down the bottom here, is that in electrolysis, what is happening is that ions are being turned into atoms, okay? It's really important at this stage now in GCSE that you use the correct terminology. Okay, an ion is a charged atom, atom is a neutral atom. So ions are charged, okay, and atoms are neutral. Okay, so that's what's happening in electrolysis. You're taking charged things and you're turning them into neutral atoms. Okay, so for this to happen, okay, to turn our positive thing make it neutral, um, we have to uh, introduce some electrons, 
Okay, so what happens is when this sodium gets the negative electrode, it gains one electron, which we represent like this, plus E minus, and it turns into a neutral sodium. Okay, so the sodium ions, they gain one electron, and they turn into a sodium atom. Okay, so this is gaining an electron. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a little mnemonic in a second to help you remember which way around to do this, but we'll do the other side uh, first before we do that. Okay. So at the positive electrode, where the bromides are going, the we have Br minus, okay, and it's turning into a a Br atom. So a bromine ion, a negatively charged bromine ion, is turning into a neutral bromine atom. The way it does that is that it gives away an electron, it loses an electron. Now there's two ways you can write this. I'm going to show you the way I prefer. It helps you out more with, with uh, if you move on to A levels. Okay, and it shows that the atoms are not disappearing. Oh, sorry, just electrons are not disappearing. Right, and then you write this over here, plus E minus. Okay, so a bromine ion is turning into a bromine atom, but it's doing it by giving away this electron. So this electron is no longer with the atom. So we've got a neutral atom, and this free spare electron. Okay, that's only part of the story because as we've shown up here, bromine goes around in twos. Okay, so if, if bromine uh, is Br2, okay, that means we need two bromide ions, which means it's going to be releasing two electrons. Okay, so this side we are losing. electrons. Okay. Now, this is the point where I want to introduce you to uh, a mnemonic to help remember this, okay, is that you have to try and describe this in terms of oxidation or reduction. Okay, so if you remember this mnemonic, which is oxidation is loss, reduction is Gain, okay, that in a box. Okay, so the mnemonic's called oil rig. Okay, so if you're if you're losing electrons, it's oxidation. And if you're gaining electrons, it's reduction. Okay, so on this side, we're gaining electrons. So this side, therefore, is reduction. Okay. On this side, where the bromide has lost some electrons, so on this side, um, it is oxidation. Okay, so brief intro there for you to uh, electrolytes and how you write half equations. Okay, if you gain electrons, so the positive ions gain electrons and become neutral atoms. Negative ions lose electrons and become neutral atoms, or in this case, uh, a uh, neutral molecule. Okay. Oxidation is losing electrons, reduction is gaining electrons. And the bottom line here is that ions are being turned into atoms, so charged things being turned into neutral things. Okay. So that's electrolysis half equations. Done.